Punctuation takes a vacation. Welcome back friends and how are we today? So friends, I want us to quickly take a look at my clock that we got over here. This is one of the ways we tell time. And on our clock, we have some numbers. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there's twelve hours in the morning and twelve hours in the afternoon. That makes 24 hours in the day. Our long hand helps us tell, the longest hand on our clock, helps us tell what hour it is. So right now it is telling us it is three o'clock. But now the clock is going. And what time is it now? It's not quite three o'clock, but it's not four o'clock yet because our short hand is not on our four and our long hand is not on our 12. So in these little gaps between our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, there is five minutes. So who remembers the five song? Some gap counting. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 60 minutes. So when our long hand is on one of the numbers, we're going to count um, gap counting in 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. <coughs> So it is 20 minutes past three. We're going to this next week, learn about telling time a little bit and practice. But today I've got a really fun story about punctuation. And we're gonna learn a little bit about punctuation. Punctuation takes a vacation by Robin Pulver. Day after day, the punctuation marks showed up on Mr. Wright's classroom. Day after day, they did their job. They put up with being erased and replaced and corrected and ignored and moved around. Then on the hottest, stickiest day the class ever had seen, right in the middle of a lesson about commas, Mr. Wright mopped his forehead and said, let's give punctuation a vacation. As the kids cheered and headed for the playground to cool off, the punctuation marks stared at one another in disbelief. Is this the thanks we get? asked the question mark. Well, the exclamation mark. Now, now, said the comma. We should take a vacation, said the period. They'll soon learn how much they need us. It's 11 o'clock now, said the colon. Let's leave at 11.02. Great, said the exclamation point. Don't leave without us yelled the apostrophes. Whoosh! Punctuation rushed out the door. Whoosh! They rushed back in to grab the question marks who were too busy talking to pay attention. When Mr. Wright's class returned from the playground, they couldn't wait to find out what happened in chapter four of their book. A scooper Dog Detective. Mr. Wright opened his mouth to read aloud, but then he stopped and stared. This is weird. The punctuation is missing. Oh, ah, where could it be? It 
be yikes, maybe punctuation took a vacation. We are in a big trouble now. It sounds pretty odd when we read without punctuation, doesn't it, friends? Mr. Reich was right. Nothing made sense without punctuation. A couple days later, the school's secretary delivered a small bundle of postcards to Mr. Wright's class. They were postmarked. Take a break, Lake. Dear friends, swimming, sailing, sunny, soaring, water skiing. Next time we must remember bug spray, toothpaste, flashlights, water shoes, sincerely, list markers. Greetings to Mr. Wright's class. The postcard doesn't take the place of a letter. If anybody takes the place of a letter, that's us. It's our job. We know we're possessive, but that's the way we are. Don't forget us while we're gone. A big hello from Vacation Paradise, where the water is as clear and as a well-punctuated sentence. We talk all day, we talk all night. Too busy talking to write any more. Kids, writing this on schedule at 1.15. Yummy lunch at 11.55. Going swimming at 3 shop. The timekeepers. Wow, that's what, what? Wow, what a ride. You should try tumbling. Scary, fun, yikes, hold on. We want mommy. Emotional us. The kids guessed who wrote the postcards and they wanted to write back, but they couldn't write without punctuation. The best they could do was borrow some from Mr. Rongo's class next door. Where punctuation seemed to be running wild. Dear punctuation, please come back. Back, please, we need you. We miss you too. Life at school is different without you. We can't do reading, writing, or riddles without punctuation. Chapter four of our book, A Scooper, doesn't make any sense. We will never take punctuation for granted again. Won't you please come back before 10 o'clock on Friday? Mrs. Wright said, Punctuation, please come back. Sincerely, Mr. Wright's class. So the punctuation marks returned to Mr. Wright's classroom to do the job that only they could do. Mr. Rango's unruly punctuation scrambled back to their own classroom. We have so much to tell you. Who did you miss the most? It's good to be back in Mr. Wright's classroom. Commas, periods, exclamation points, question marks, colons, apostrophes, quotation marks. Take your places. 10 o'clock a.m. Time to study. So when I read without the punctuation, it kind of didn't make much sense, did it? But when we got punctuation, it makes a lot more sense because it tells us when we need to take a breath or when we need to continue our sentence or when our sentence is changing so that it doesn't roll into one another. But some of us are going to start learning all about writing soon and it's really good to know our different punctuation marks. 
I hope you have a great day, friends, and I'll see you again soon.